Hey remote professionals, today we have a great job for you, but do note if this position is not for you, we have a bunch of other job openings that are global opportunities, so feel free to head over to remoteprofessionalnetwork.com to check the openings. We are going to check out this appeal representative today with United Health Group. This is going to be a full-time remote job for folks in the United States. This is going to pay 16 to tw about $27 per hour. Remember what we say here, guys, is remote jobs tend to have a can tend to have a, a wide range of uh, salary options. The reason being is that if you're located across an entire country, your cost of living is going to vary pretty greatly. And in addition to that, they are going to consider your skill set. So if you are highly skilled and experienced in appeals and the insurance area, you're probably going to hit higher to that $27 or if you're located in a higher cost of living area. Okay, so again, you can work from anywhere in the United States in this position. What you're going to do is prepare appeals received from clients, providers, ensure the appeal has been categorized correctly, obtain additional documentation required for case review, review the case to determine if review by clinician is required, and then process your final appear, appeal response. Communicate the appeal information to client providers and internal and external parties within the required time frames. And as far as requirements, this is you don't really need a lot of experience for this job, guys. So if you don't have experience in this, you can definitely apply to this one. All you need is a high school diploma, GED, or equivalent years of work experience, one year of data entry or medical claims experience, one year of work experience in a related environment using computers as the primary job tools, Proficiency with computer, Windows, PC applications. So basically what they're looking for, guys, is they want you to be experienced with the Microsoft Office Suite, Microsoft Excel, PowerPoint, uh, you know, Word. And also probably wouldn't hurt to have experience with the G Suite, Google Suite tools as well. Okay, preferred qualifications. If you have experience with healthcare, medical, or pharmacy tech terminology, guys, that's going to help you. And guys, if there's if you really want this position, you can research this on your own before the interview, okay? These you can take steps when you see the requirements listed in some of these job descriptions and start getting experience in it so that when you do land an interview, you sound like you're already working towards getting the job. Um, a lot of people are gonna like that, okay? Definitely let them know that you're studying and use some medical terminology when you're actually in the interview as well, okay? As far as other tips. Um, definitely make sure that you highlight your data entry skills. This job is going to involve phones, but it's, it looks more like you're going to be working on the computers majority of the time. So I would definitely make sure that if you have experience working with any project management tools, um, managing file systems, and etc., I would definitely note that in your resume as well. Okay, that's going to wrap it up for today, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Check out this new job that's posted today as well.